He could have hit someone being irresponsible like that. Now they are banning Pastor Mboros Church following the altercation that ensued yesterday at a local school. This particular church, it is just um, a few meters from the police station, but we are not seeing any police visibility on the ground, uh, you know, to check what exactly is happening. This following the pupils from these various schools marching across the streets of Katlehong. Firstly, their first point was at the local police station where they were saying that they are demanding the release of um, the people who have been arrested. We understand that one of them is Pastor Mboro himself. Why am I high school? I am a primary school. This is orange and I'm going to be sat in the way. I'm going to be in the way. I'm going to be in the way. It's not the first time I call in this gun. I call a little bit of a seval. So it's in a scatel or you poor. So get a bantanabes call. Now I'm done a scholar and jangiti. He writes lentens again. Vela Funeg. There are many rumors about him. Manje, Uxuga Manje, Nibono Guti is a mossy right job as a colonel. I'm a poise a budget. I'm a gun, you good rights. Now I'm a battle and I was who was who should take a video on a galleg lentayens. I'm a guy in Zan. Cause I want to know by a car and a pugly a video. We go to the police station, the police station didn't take any action, so we take action to our hands. So this um, some of the sentiments um, uh, from the students uh, uh, who were saying that the, po the police are failing to take any action. We also saw the ANC Youth League, they generally coming to the school. I'm not a cow, bitch. Vote. Open. Listen. I'm gonna make you sweat. Make you dress. Make you wet, wet, wet. I'm gonna make you sweat. Little baby pissing in your chest of pressure. Vote. Unlocked. Guys. Guys. Did you guys see what Pastor Mboro did at that school in Katlon? Oh my gosh. That guy went to the school. Apparently, there's some kind of a custody situation about kids, right? Um, between two families. Mboro went there. I don't know if he's one of the families or he was trying to stand up for one of the families. Pulling one of the kids out of the school he was brandishing two pangas two machetes he had a bodyguard with him that had um a rifle threatening the teachers the teachers are behind gates um trying to say no no don't do this he's standing there one man fighting shadows and ghosts got the panga this is a pastor, a supposed pastor. He's one of the creepy pastors. Trust me when I say this. There's always been hymns about that guy. Right? How do you as a pastor, a community leader, go and brandish two machetes? Your bodyguard also has a gun. You are threatening people at the school. It's a school. Does he not know about how um, school shootings exist or crazy people going to schools? And start offing the kids. You can only imagine how those kids felt once they started to hear the rumors circulating. Or when the teachers, um, the, the parents um, started to hear what's going on. This is supposed to be a man of God. You see? 
these creepy men of God. <laughs> mm -mm. That guy has never done them. I don't know who he thought he was. I don't know. He didn't wake up on the wrong side of the bed. He woke up today on a mission with some demon connections. They were connected to the Wi-Fi for sure. Because all custody battles or situations like that are resolvable in court or with a mediator. Even though you don't want to go down that route, it's the safest and logical thing to do. I think he's going to be arrested. He was literally fighting shadows and people are just, he like, why did he do that, Ven? A man is sick. He looked crazy at those crazy eyes. He's just a tiny little man with those pangas. He's arguing with women, female teachers. Busy waving his weapon around. And I guess what the ladies had? Phones. Cell phones. I was just wondering about those teachers, the female teachers. Who, if I was standing there, I wouldn't be standing there. If I was standing there. I always tell you that demons are trying to escalate every single situation, especially when it's like this. And if there's a man in front of me um, waving around or brandishing a, a machete or a gun or something, some kind of weapon, I'm automatically going to think that this person is trying to kill me. I need to get away. But he was not in any danger or anything like that either. It's not like he was trying to defend himself or... He was the only one that was that had weapons. People had phones to record him, his crazy antics. What he did was so outrageous and so unfair. The amount of stress that that guy caused to all these parents and students is so bad. You're not allowed to go to schools. Even if you are legally caring, if you are not the security of that school, you can't be going to schools with firearms and, and, and machetes right in the open where the kids can actually see you come on he's pulling the one child what a scary situation people are crazy but guess what the plot thickens after he does all of that the community gets wind of the situation and they take matters into their own hands they burnt his tent church down they burnt it down because he was freaking out the community and the community retaliated I told you guys about mass hysteria. Once mob justice or this group of people have an idea, you'll be very lucky if you get away with your life once they get you because they're not going to stop until they do this violent thing that they are plotting to do. And look now, they burned his church down. Gone. Because he was busy brandishing pungas and machetes and stuff like that. I told you. Didn't I tell you guys? People are taking people out with guns, knives, and swords. But a machete or a panga is like a sword. In my opinion. But also people are using real swords too. So just be careful out there. People are not even safe around their pastors. Men of God. But we know how creepy they are. But the kids, gay. This could have been dealt with another way. I'm just, I'm watching this right now. And for, I'm like, Wow. I'm so taken aback, man of God. Yo, I, I don't know, you are funny people out there. And I'm not saying haha funny. I was about to take a nap. But I'm on a diet. I can eat popcorn. You know? I'm gonna, I'm gonna get some popcorn. I'm not gonna eat try. Look at this guy. Wait, um. What a joke. And he's, he's like a little man. <laughs> He's only one looking crazy. Everybody's just standing there on the phone. Like, what is he doing? So, I'll let you guys know what happens. Now I get more information. Guys, please. Be careful out there. Protect yourselves. Protect your kids. And I think schools now. I mean, we've also heard of students shooting teachers and so on lately. Our schools... You need to start beefing up security. I'm telling you. This is weird. This should have never happened. It's outrageous. Anyway, guys. I'll see you in the next one.